Kazi Kenya Aviation Civil Aviation is it? Kenya Aviation Workers Union. Hey, endelea. Asante ni members of the press. Uh, we were here this morning because our uh, our matter was coming up. Uh, you remember we had a case about uh, the government intention to hand over JKA to Adani. Unfortunately, the court is not sitting today. We have been given a new date, that is on the 27th of uh, this month. So, not much, nothing has happened. But uh, I want to use this opportunity to thank His Excellency Moshimewa, Dr. Kalonzo Musioka, and Moshimewa uh, Eugene Omalo for standing with us the working fraternity from, from uh, the aviation sector. Because uh, as workers, we remain opposed to the intention of uh, giving out JKIA to Adani. We have said not once, not twice, that uh, it's not a good deal for this country. It is not a good deal for workers. It's not go a good deal for for, for the sector, that is the aviation sector in totality. Uh, we are more than convinced that Kenya Airports Authority is financially able to fund its own expansion and modernization. Our appeal to the government is that uh, they should pause and abandon the Adani project and instead assist uh, Kenya Airports Authority to finance its own expansion. So I won't say, say much. Maybe I'll ask uh, uh, His Excellency and the uh, Eugene, who have been of great help to us, the working uh, fraternity and from aviation, uh, maybe to make some remarks. My name is Mos Ndiema. I'm the Secretary General of Kenya Aviation. Thank you. We came to court today, and uh, as you have heard from Vanandema, uh, the court is now sitting today until the 27th. Um, there was a virtual uh, sitting on the other matter filed by the Law Society of Kenya, and uh, the representative of uh, the Civil Workers Union, uh, Senior Council. Fred uh, um, Gatia has just briefed us actually when we are here on what has happened because that matter was also put up, uh, was put forth until December the 17th um, before the three judge bench. Um, there may be need to consolidate this but that's a matter for discussion going forward and um, we think this matter is of critical importance. We are dealing with a critical infrastructure which touches on the national security and the well-being of a nation state for Kenya. We have said before we have no problem with the investors coming to the country, but the way this Andane deal has been crafted, um, it has all the trappings of what one would call a state capture. Look at Andani, at JKIA, Andani in Shaf and Shif, Andani in Ketrako. And the whole thing crowded in secrecy. So um, we are on record for the petitioners here. In fact, the petitioners in this particular case um, are Tony Gachoka and uh, political parties, Wiper Democratic Movement. Democratic Action Party of Kenya and Jubilee Party of Kenya. So uh, that's why we also came and, and we are determined to fight over this for the benefit of not just the present generations but future generations of this country. So there will be transparency. Uh, we know that uh, some preliminary objections have been raised uh, by uh, the, the, the respondents, in this case, managing director of Kenya Airports Authority and the team, the ministers and all. Um, it will be an occasion for Kenyans to see 
how we cannot run a government and how we cannot auction a nation. <coughs> so we will be here again, God willing, on the 27th of November. And um, we also be talking to the Law Society of Kenya. After all, we are also members. So we are interested both ways. And uh, the civil aviation workers should remain uh, um, uh, encouraged that the whole country is watching. Maybe I can ask my colleague to add something. Uh, thank you very much. Maybe just to add that uh, a lot of Kenyans, including the workers here, would be worried as to what this means. Uh, just to assure them that uh, this postponement of this case, the adjournment to uh, the 17th of the LSK case, and uh, this case to the 27th, uh, does not mean that uh, the conservatory orders are no longer there, and therefore Adani uh, will take over. No, the conservatory orders that have been given in the LSK case, which is a case related to this, and we shall be seeking consolidation of uh, uh, these cases, uh, means that Adani will not still uh, do anything until these matters are hard and determined. So that is the assurance we want to give. But also thank uh, Banandiema and uh, his officials for standing with the workers, for fighting for uh, our fellow Kenyans who are at risk of losing their livelihoods under the Adani deal, which is slop-sided actually in favor of Adani, and which we must tell Kenyans uh, portends uh, a lot of uh, risk to our future as a nation. We've seen what is happening in Bangladesh. The same Adani uh, who was chased from Bangladesh, from Sri Lanka, from Australia. Today we are hearing that uh, uh, he had a problem with the people of Bangladesh and uh, he has cut off power. <laughs> we want to tell this uh, Kenya uh, Kwisha government that if actually they are going to give this uh, Adani everything. For Adani to control our airways in terms of taking JKIO International Airport, for Adani to control our energy sector by taking over k -Trako. for Adani to control our healthcare systems. Imagine if what has happened in Bangladesh happens in Kenya. One individual called Adani switches off power. The entire country is in darkness. This one individual called Adani grounds Jomo Kenyatta because he'll be controlling Jomo Kenyatta. The same Adani is controlling our health care, that Adani, uh, Shah, uh, Shif, whatever. He actually paralyzes our health care. Will we have a country? No. So we are saying no to this Adani deal, and we are again, even as we fight here in court, as leaders of the opposition, we want to tell this government to be responsible and to drop this Adani deal. Yes. That is all we are asking, but we leave uh, to the judges and to our courts to do what is right and in our national interest. As Any questions? Because then that's very clear. <coughs> Adani disconnected the electricity to Bangladesh. It was because it was not paid some installment. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it can happen here. It can happen here. And before you know it, you cannot have uh, planes landing in Kenya, and uh, then you will have total chaos. No, no. We will say no because it's important. Sinequil. Yes. yes. So we actually asked, just like yesterday, we told. Um, um, I think he's an advocate, Senator Fonandi. Yeah. We told him to drop this thing about term <laughs> extensions like a hot potato. Drop it and go home. <laughs> Don't forget, there's a lot more you can do. So similarly, drop this Adani deal. William Ruto, drop it. Yes. Drop it. Yes. Thank you very much.